and welcome to the CSP Download. I'm Lydia and I'm the Children and Families Minister at Chalfont St Peter's Parish Church. I hope you've all been having a good week. One of my favourite bits of this week was looking at your pictures of decorated stones that you sent in to remind us of the story of God winning the battle through David against Goliath. Let's take a look at the gallery. stories we've been looking at together have been part of God's big plan. From creation, Noah and the flood, the Israelites being rescued from Egypt, God fighting off giants. Every story tells us a little bit about who God is and what he's like, how he's faithful and keeps his promises, how he loves his people and wants to rescue them. Every story we've looked at whispers the same message, God telling his people, I am coming. Lots of prophets, God's special messengers, also told the world that God was coming. And all of these prophecies or messages are in the Bible. Let's take a look at a few of them. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign the young woman will conceive and give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. But you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me, one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. Then came a long time of waiting. Are you good at waiting? I'm really good at waiting, yeah. I'm still on hold. I know. Okay, maybe not. What other things can you think of that we sometimes have to wait for? God's people had to wait a long time for the Saviour to arrive. 
They wondered how the Saviour was going to arrive. Would he come in on the clouds? Would he arrive by chariot? Would he come flying in like a superhero? God gave lots of clues, but people weren't very good at understanding the clues. We understand them much better now we know how the Saviour really did arrive. But after all the prophets, God's messengers, had given their messages, there came a long time of... a long time of... Silence lasted 400 years. That's a long time of waiting. Advent, which is the season we're in now, leading up to Christmas, is a time where we can remember the long wait for the Saviour to arrive. Waiting is sometimes good. It helps us develop patience. Though God made his people wait, and though he was silent for 400 years, God still kept his promise and was faithful to his people by sending a saviour. And we can remember that in this Advent or waiting time. Let's say a special prayer together. Father God, thank you that you keep your promises. We're sorry when we want things to happen in our own time and we're not willing to be patient. Help us to remember that you are good and faithful and you keep your promises to us. Help us especially remember that in this Advent season. Amen. Well, next time we're going to have a very special episode looking at the story of, well, I'm not going to tell you, but maybe you can guess. We've been hinting at it today by talking about the arrival of a saviour. Now this week I wonder if you could design a special way for a saviour of the world to arrive. You could build something out of Duplo or Lego or you could design something by drawing a picture and as always take a picture, send it in and we'll have a lovely gallery next time. So until then, goodbye!